The Megalodon is an extinct species of shark that lived somewhere between 2.3 to 3.6 million years ago, and it is thought to be one of the greatest predators our Earth has ever seen. Take a trip with us today through 10 different shark sightings as we cover the top 10 terrifying shark sightings that could be the Megalodon. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the TikTok shark. In May of last year, someone on TikTok called Alex Albrecht, who is a marine biodiversity student as well as a musician, shared a video on the app that had people seriously shocked. The TikTok shows a massive shark lurking around the ship that Alex was on, which is said to have just been off of the coast of Massachusetts at the time. The ship was full of research students when this massive shark made its appearance, many of which either screamed or had some sort of expletive to say in response. Another TikTok user asked in the comments if the shark in the video is a megalodon, considering how absolutely huge this thing was. Was this an actual megalodon? Likely not, but hey, I'm not the marine life student here, so who am I to say? In our number 9 spot today, we have the Cray Fisherman. David Stead is an Australian naturalist, and in his book titled Sharks and Rays of the Australian Seas, he details an encounter with a shark that some have taken to believe is the legendary Megalodon herself. Apparently, this incident happened in 1981 to a group of cray fishermen that David spoke with. These fishermen were absolutely terrified of a shark they saw in their fishing grounds, which were just off of Broughton Island. They were so scared, in fact, that they refused to return to the fishing spot for days. All the men agreed that the shark was monstrous and that it was most definitely a shark, not a whale. The men explained that they had never seen a shark of that size before, and considering how they were all seasoned fishermen who had all had their fair share of encounters with sharks, whales, and all of the terrifying things that the ocean has to offer, how frightened they were really did leave quite the impression. In our number 8 spot today, we have two specimens. This story comes from all the way back in 1869, when an Irish scientist headed out on an expedition to Seychelles. It is said that he went there to study fish, but man, he was not prepared for the specimens he would go on to study. It is said that he found one that was over 15 meters, which is already a whopping almost 50 feet, but the other one really took the cake. The second specimen it is said that he found was alleged to have been 23 meters long, which is a massive 75 feet. Since this was so long ago, there wasn't any official documentation of it, but if there had been, the second one would hold the record for being the largest ever recorded. That is absolutely wild. Seeing it is one thing, but imagine being able to actually study it. In our number 7 spot today, we have the sailors. This gigantic shark sighting is said to have taken place in the 1960s, just off of the edge of Australia's Great Barrier Reef. According to author BC Cartmel in his book Let's Go Fossil Shark Tooth Hunting, the sailors and involved in this sighting initially refused to talk about it because of the fear of being teased for being afraid of what they had seen. After some time, however, they began to speak about the incident. They explained that while on board their 85-foot ship, they needed to weigh anchor in order to conduct some engine repairs. While this was ongoing, the crew became absolutely shocked when they saw the biggest shark they had ever seen slowly swimming past their completely stuck ship. Just like the last one, all the men agreed that they were not mistaking a whale and that it was indeed a shark. They also said that this shark was so large it was rivaling the boat in size. That is absolutely massive. Whether it really was a megalodon or not, whatever shark they saw that day certainly wasn't the average size. In our number 6 spot today, we have the Battle Scar. This story is a little different than the others on today's list, and it started with the sighting of a great white shark. This 15 foot long shark was spotted swimming just off of Isla Guadalupe in Mexico, but what was so striking about this great white in particular was the absolutely savage wound it had on its side. This huge bite mark had people speculating as to what in the world could have caused it. I mean, there aren't very many predators to great whites, so it's a pretty rare occasion to see such a huge bite mark right on the side of one, and people were doubting whether or not another shark would have done this to one of its own species. There definitely are reasons for why this could have been an attack from another shark, but of course people took this as a possible sign that maybe there's something bigger lurking in the waters. If the megalodon somehow isn't actually extinct and just 
manages to evade any sort of confirmation of its existence, it certainly would need a ton of food to survive, which makes big fish like great whites a perfect snack. The megalodon is, however, one of the most powerful predators to have ever lived on our planet, so if this bite really was from a megalodon, it's surprising that this great white made it out alive. In our number 5 spot today, we have a world record. Basking sharks are known for being one of the largest fish in the ocean, and that is exactly why the largest one ever recorded was definitely something to write home about. In 1851, in the Bay of Fundy, which sits between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia here in Canada, a basking shark was caught in a herring net. This shark was measured to be at least 40 feet long, which is astoundingly large, and it certainly confused those who had caught it at first. I can imagine that they likely also thought that they had some kind of living fossil caught up in their net, but nope, instead they just set a new world record. In our number 4 spot today, we have the demon. There are many stories and alleged sightings of what is now referred to as the quote, Black Demon of Cortez, which is said to be a massive black shark seen off of Mexico's Baja coast. One story in particular regarding this elusive shark comes from a fisherman named Eric Mack. He had reported that one day while sailing, he felt his boat begin to rock, which immediately gave him the feeling that something was awry. Eric was even further startled when he explained that he saw a massive towering tail sticking at least five feet out of the water. The stories of this shark are so infamous that it was even the focus of an episode of a History Channel show called Monster Quest. Maybe if there's a part two of this video, we'll talk about some more of the sightings surrounding the demon. In our number three spot today, we have Deep Blue. This shark is in fact not a megalodon, but it definitely is a more modern contender. Deep Blue is the name of a great white shark who is most definitely one of the greatest ever recorded, at least in our lifetime. This colossal monster is the largest great white shark ever caught on camera by scientists. She is measured to be 20 feet long, 8 feet high, and about 2.5 tons. And while this isn't all that huge compared to her massive prehistoric cousin, it certainly is no small feat. Rumors of her existence have been spread since as far back as the 1990s, but it wasn't until 2014 that she was officially caught on camera and documented. Researchers at the time were in the midst of studying tiger sharks, but she made her grand appearance after scavenging some food from a sperm whale carcass nearby. In our number two spot today, we have Bigger Than the Boat. Zane Grey is a man who is a novelist, and he is definitely best known for his adventure novels, but it is also said that he was a deep sea angler, and it was during one of his fishing adventures that his Megalodon sighting came. In the novel, which is titled Megalodon, Fact or Fiction, writer Rick Emmer speaks of this incident, saying that Zane claimed to have seen, quote, one of the man-eating monsters of the South Pacific. It is said that whatever kind of shark he saw, it was a shark that was much longer than his boat, which was somewhere from 30 to 40 feet. He also said that this shark was yellow and green, and that it had a few white spots. Most notably, however, he said that the shark had a massive square head, and that it had quote, immense pectoral fins. This is all to say that whether he saw a megalodon or not, whatever he saw was not just a harmless great white shark. What do you guys think? Perhaps a megalodon sighting, or just one of the tall, exciting tales told by Mr. Gray. In our number one spot today, we have the Mariana Trench sighting. A few years ago, a video began circulating the internet, and it shows a gigantic shark scouring the seafloor. People online quickly put a story to the video, saying that allegedly this is a megalodon that was caught on camera at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The creature is seen swimming over top of what is apparently an abandoned shark cage, and the video seems to be enough to have convinced convinced many, many people. The video certainly is compelling, and whatever we see is most definitely terrifying to look at, but with my very limited knowledge of anything that lives in the sea, it's tough to say anything further. While some people swear that this is solid proof, others have brought up sharks that may have a similar appearance to the one seen in the video. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye!